Alrighty, top of the end of the day for us, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We're like five, ten days before Christmas. Ten, right? Yep. I'm here with my bestie. I, he's my bestie. I don't know if I'm his bestie. Probably not his bestie, but he's my bestie anyway. We're doing a little, I don't know, thinning in the zone, crap hole brush. Some decent trees here and there we're having sending stuff like straight up out of there intertwined with alders and fir trees that have to stay so we're gonna lob this tree down there there's three kind of in a row we're gonna lob it in out in that hole hopefully it doesn't go all the way down the hill and I'm hopeful I don't take too many limbs out of this redwood we're trying to save the redwood probably gonna take out that oak collateral damage We've been having fun with the 462 Psycho SX Torque Tweak with a 31 and some comp chain. That was a mouthful. It's cutting pretty good for a redwood chain on this fur. Um, are we doing okay today? Doing good. It's a Friday. Mm -hmm. Like I said before Christmas, we're um, we're having fun today. We're not. It's not a productivity day. Like. <laughs> It's just not. We're just having fun, checking some things out, enjoying each other's company. Well, I'm enjoying his company anyway. I can't speak for him, of course. But anyway, I think this tree's leaning to the right or up the hill because of the way the wind blows. And if we verify that with a plum, that's a yes. It probably go down the hill pretty good though because, or pretty easily because the wind blows so hard these trees have a tendency to want to like basically grow into the wind so they wedge easy actually so here we go Sounded good. Yeah. Hung up on a fern root. This will be a fun one. <coughs>
willing to push it. How's that for some danger cat bucking? <laughs> Pretty sketchy. It's like you can't be working afraid out here. Every move, you can't be working afraid. You just have to work. Yeah. It, I know it sounds kind of cavalier, but it's you can't be working afraid. You just you'll get hurt. Yeah. You gotta just do what you need to do. Push it as far as you think you can push it. But that also comes from more than just enough time sawing, right? I, I, it's not one of those things where I've been sawing just enough. I've been sawing for a long time. Yeah. And God's been smiling on me for a long time. Yeah. Because I'm still sawing. <laughs> Are we still filming? Okay. Oh, wow, I thought we were out of battery. So you saw me eyeballing that situation there a couple of times. I was calculating in my brain the probability of the completion like they do on NFL, right? Stat that. <laughs> Stat that. You know, got it bucked. As soon as they grab a hold of this and pick it up, it'll break that cut down there. Got it a little rushing up a little bit, rushing coupling. <laughs> and so it won't it won't foul up the rigging crew at all and I'm still alive. So that's kind of uh, I guess that's the important thing, isn't it? That's a win. Is that the important thing? That's the important thing. Okay, so God was smiling on me in the end, gave me a few tools, a few tricks over the years, learned some stuff, made some mistakes, kind of tried to push it to the uh, out right to the end. I could feel it starting to crack in my feet, which I've talked to my NBFF about multiple times today. Had him step on logs to actually feel that himself because it it's... Your body is a sense organ, essentially, mm -hmm. and you're sensing stuff. And so you use your leg on a log sometimes when I'm bucking. I'm, I'm actually feeling for cracking in there. Um, it, it, you, don't, it, you would never know that unless someone told you, right? right? Unless you did it enough that you'd start to feel it yourself. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's... But, you know, I just saved you a few years. Yeah, you might have to learn that the hard way. Of time. <laughs> yeah. You're welcome. Okay, so like I said, we're right before Christmas. We came out on a Friday. We lived to tell after we had some fun sawing. And we didn't do any collateral damage. Not even one limb broke off of that redwood thing. The bears are thick in here and they climb up in those trees and scratch the bark off actually in the spring and lick the sap because it's super tasty, I guess. I don't know. I've had redwood sap get in my mouth. I think it's crappy tasting, but whatever. But anyway, we're done yammering on. Thanks for watching this session. Have a blessed day wherever you might be on his green earth.